Welcome back. In this YouTube video, I'm looking at pure mathematics exam question on modulus function and transformation of graphs. Here is the exam question. Figure 5 shows a sketch of part of the graph with equation y equal f of x, where f of x is equal modulus x minus 2a minus 3b. x is any row number, and where a and b are positive constants. Part a, find the values of x such that f of x is equal 0. Please pause the video, have a go at part a once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. So we're trying to solve f of x equals 0. This implies that modulus x minus 2a minus 3b is equal 0. We can generate two equations. The first one is x minus 2a minus 3b equal 0, equation 1. And the second one is x minus 2a in bracket with a negative at the front minus 3b equal 0, equation 2. We must solve both of these equations. So if I solve the first one, I get x equal 2a plus 3b. Now over here, we expand the bracket. So we've got minus x plus 2a minus 3b equal 0 for equation 2. We're going to solve for x. So if I take the minus x to the right-hand side, I get x is equal to 2a minus 3b. So we have that x is equal to 2a plus 3b, x is equal to 2a minus 3b. And that there, ladies and gents, completes part A of the exam question. Let's move on. The point P, as shown in figure 5, so here is the point P, it is the vertex of the modulus graph. Um, part B, state the coordinates of the point P. Please pause the video, have a go at part B once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Now, for part B, we know that f of x represents this graph. So f of x has equation modulus x minus 2a minus 3b. Treat this like um, a quadratic and complete the square form. To find the vertex, we set the x minus 2a equal 0. This gives us x equal 2a. So that's the x coordinate of the vertex, which is p. And the y coordinate is the outer term. So y is equal minus 3b. So the coordinate for p will therefore be 2a minus 3b. Let's move on. Part c, state the coordinates of the image of p under the transformation represented by the graph with the equation part 1, y equal 2 multiplied by the modulus of f of x, part 2, y equal 3 f of 2x. Please pause the video, have a go at part C, part 1 and part 2. Once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Okay, right, now let's have a look at part C, part 1. Firstly, we've got f of x. Now the coordinate for p uh, is 2a minus 3b. I'm going to apply the transformation modulus f of x. So that takes everything below the x-axis and reflects it upwards, which means that this y-coordinate minus 3, b becomes 3b. So the image will now be p, 2a, 3b. Next, I'm going to apply the transformation, two lots of the modulus of f of x. So over here, what we have to do is we keep the x-coordinate the same, which is 2a, but we take the y coordinate 3b and we multiply it by 2. This gives us 6b. So that there is the final image of p under the transformation 2 lots of the modulus of f of x. That's part 1 done. Moving on to part 2 of the exam question. So I've got f of x again. The vertex p of f of x is given by this coordinate over here. The image of p under the transformation of f of 2x is what we need to calculate. We start off with f of 2x because we're applying bid mass. Bracket comes first. So over here, we've got 2x inside the bracket. We do the opposite of this. We take the x coordinate and we divide by 2. So 2a divided by 2 is just a, keeping the y coordinate as it is, which is minus 3b. So the image of P under this transformation is A minus 3B. Now I'm going to look at the transformation 3F of 2X. What would the image of P 
be under this transformation. So over here, we've got three in front of the function. We take the y coordinate over here, we multiply it by three, keeping the x coordinate fixed. So we've got x, which is a, minus 3b multiplied by 3 is minus 9b. So the image of p under this transformation, the final answer is a minus 9b. And that there, ladies and gents, completes part C of this exam question. Let's move on to part D. Solve the equation modulus x minus 2a minus 3b equal 2x plus a. Please pause the video, have a go at part D. Once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part D of the exam question. So in part D, we want to solve the modulus equation modulus x minus 2a minus 3b equal to 2x plus a. The solution to this equation represents the point of intersection between this graph and this graph over here. Now this graph has already been sketched, which is this in figure 5. Now I'm going to be solving this modulus equation. I need to generate two equations from this modulus equation. The first one would be the standard x minus 2a minus 3b equal 2x plus a, equation one. And the second equation will be x minus 2a in bracket with a negative on the outside, minus 3b equal 2x plus a, second equation. So let's start off by solving the first equation. I've got 2x minus x, so that's just x, minus 2a minus a, so minus 3a minus 3b. So x is equal minus 3a minus 3b. Let's move on to the second equation. Expand the bracket, minus x plus 2a minus 3b equal 2x plus a. So I've got 2x plus x, that's 3x, and then 2a minus a is just a, minus the 3b. So x will equal a divided by 3, so that is a third a, minus 3b divided by 3, that is minus b. So we've got x equal minus 3a minus 3b, and x equal a third a minus b. Ladies and gents, if I sketch the graph y equal 2x plus a, I get a graph that looks something like this. It is a linear graph with gradient 2 and y intercept a. You substitute x equals 0, you'll get 2 times 0 plus a, hence the y intercept is a. Now for the modulus graph, to find the y intercept, you substitute x equals 0, modulus of minus 2a is just 2a, hence we have 2a minus 3b as the y intercept. Now have a look at the modulus graph. This part of the modulus graph has gradient 1. Okay, so that part of the graph represents this particular equation here with gradient which is the coefficient of x which is 1. This part of the modulus graph has gradient negative 1. That part of the graph represents this equation here. Notice that if you multiply out you get a minus 1 coefficient of x. So this equation here has a negative gradient. It represents this part of the modulus graph. Now since y equal 2x plus a is steeper than the modulus graph, we know that this graph over here will intersect with this part of the V-shape. Okay, so that intersection over there represents the solution to this particular equation, and that solution is x equal 1 over 3a minus b. Since there's only one point of intersection due to the steepness of the graphs, we must reject this solution, and to get the final mark, we accept this solution here. Okay, so that there completes part D of the exam question and this teaching video, pure mathematics exam question on modulus function and transformation of graphs. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.